This is Sarah and Emma. And today we'll be drawing a character, Panda. Yay! What do you need is? We need paper, pencil, marker, and to draw with. And something to draw with. We have tons of plans for our little cute panda that will come in handy. So, do you want to start? Yes! Okay, so we we want to do it together, but you can just do this on your own. Okay, we are going to start from the panda's from the panda's head. So I'm going to fold this paper in half, but you don't need to to make a line because Emma needs to follow me, right? Yes. Okay, let me just fold this right in down the middle. Okay. So. This is yours and this is mine. Okay, let's start. So the carrot, so a panda has something sticking up from their mouth. So we are just going to draw that like a little circle right down the middle. Yes. And then you're going to draw its eyes on this side. The black spot. This might look like Minnie Mouse or something. It might look like a character mouth. And they and, and they have really cute eyes. And when we are coloring this, make sure no you're not going to color this eye. We're going to make the rest of it really black. And we are going to draw are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so we are now going to draw the nose and the eyes. So pandas have little round nose like this. This may look really funny now, but it's going to be great after we finish it. So now we are going to draw its mouth. We just draw a little line coming down. And two other line that it will be stinking out. I'll make it a little curve just to be cute. So next we are going to draw the panda's forehead. We are going to draw this panda in a bamboo forest, right? Yes. Okay, we are going to draw its top of the head in a little is in a curve line. Okay now we are going to make it into a little circle but but only that it's not going to go through its jaw. Your panda looks a little grumpy though. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw pandas ears. So, we are going to draw a, a half of a circle. This might have split in half and one on here and one on here. And we are going to color, okay, but well, we are going to color with our pens. So we are going to draw the panda's body now. They are little fat bodies, right? Yes. So we are going to draw one hand with, that is grabbing a bamboo. So we are going to draw a ice skate shape. And we are going to draw two lines sticking out and connect them with a curved line. Okay, so now we're going to draw the leaves that the bamboo has had on. So we're going to draw little stripes because bamboo has a little stripes on them. And we're going to draw little leaves. Just a little. Oh, it's so cute, right? Yeah. Okay, now we are going to, we have one arm, but we are going to draw, draw another arm on the floor. So, we are going to have his hand here, like this. And he, and he's sitting on with a lot of bamboos near, but I'm just going to draw him eating. So, so we are going to draw his butt now, and uh, and he'll he has and he only like 
he will need back fit and pandas sit while they are eating. So he'll draw a little rock here. Okay, okay, so, so, so cute. Okay, and I made a mistake over here because this is why I'm drawing the first panda ever. So I'm be sure to use a pencil. If you're using a marker, start a new one. Okay, so now we are going to draw him eating. So he will be sitting on the floor. So we are going to draw some little lines, some lines sticking for his back. And we are going to draw a curved line right here for his back leg. And we are going to imagine that it's through the bamboo and coming out and making a little uh, not finished C shape. And then we are going to draw the foot. This will be a lot more longer than the this and this foot and we'll do our little two lines on each foot okay. so now you're going to draw his little tail it's going to be round like this but be sure to not connect this you're going to connect this with a little space between the two so it looks natural Okay, we are going to connect this two with a curved line again. And we have it. We have a little panda and you need to draw us back like this. <laughs> okay. But well our panda okay, let's draw whiskers on it. Well our panda has one thing not one thing left. What is it? color yeah so we need to color it so i'll show you some i'll show you ways to color this okay so when it black and and when it gray pick one of the gray i'm going to use warm gray maybe you can use um maybe you could use but it's okay if our rock looks different because the most thing is to have fun so get you have a black and get a rock color maybe some some kind of gray like this okay warm gray you put warm gray and we also need some uh four screens for our for the background and we also need some some light greens. What? Which color do you want to use for your bamboo? Like this. Okay. You going? Okay. So we have all the four colors. Okay. So first, get your black. Open it up. And we are going to start by coloring its ears. So, but this, this. Uh, but this gets you gets really bad. This one like it. Okay. I'm going to put a old paper underneath because this ink is really really strong and it can go through the papers. Okay, now let's color. Okay, first get your black, open it up, and color the ears. Color the ears like this. It is okay because okay, so we have a little fluffy ears on our panda, and we need to take all the lines we drew to make our panda look cute. Like this, color his eyes too. And I'm not going to color around his eyes because it will cover his eyes. But if you want to color, you can color with a pencil or a light gray. So you, so you could still see its eyes. Okay. Follow all the lines we drew. 
You could also draw some toe lines on his foot, like this. One, two, three. And some rocks. And the rock here, its belly, its back leg. It's okay if you go slow. I can pop. I can pop that video for a second for you to have extra time. And you can pause that video too if I go to fast. Okay, so we tested all the lines, but pandas, they kind of like have more black, have, have black tails, and you could add some, and um, they also have some black on their paws. Okay, well, you can just cover the tone line to make their arm all black, because pandas have black, black arms. The color in the arms was black. And we have, and we are done with our black. Put that on, put that in. One more time. Your panda looks so cute. Now we are going to get our flower screen. Yours is the screen. I don't have any more flower screen. And opening it up the six side. Ugh. It got bored and it's really thick. The board one. Yeah, that one. And we are going to color its background. So you can just throw like six lines. Go like the, I can't really color them all. You can just go you can just throw like six lines coming out be, coming out. Put for the bamboos, but I, but you know that you cannot draw all the bamboo sticking out. That would take like some hours to do. <laughs> okay, keep drawing the stripes on for the background. You can just draw like stripes coming out, and at the end, I'm going to draw a panda on top. I think your panda looks a little grumpy, so um, let's kind of like make your panda look cute. So you're going to make his eyes grow bigger, like this. How about that? It's more cute, right? Yeah. Okay, now. Are you done? Oh yeah. So now we are going to color it bamboo. So we're just going to take our green, open it up. <laughs> Hot, huh? And color our bamboo. But we are going to come we are going to change color once we are finished with the bamboo stem. Because the leaf and the stem of the colors of the bamboo are different. And let's change our colors. Okay. And and with the color that I gave you, yes. color the leaves. Okay. Now, what do we need to color? The rock. Yeah, the rock. Yeah, they're great. Open it up. Now let's color the rock. Okay, and I said it wrong. It's, it's okay, it's okay. Maybe you will need some. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. You can just use that to make the rock look bumpy. And uh, and you can use my gray one when I'm finished. You can make it look like, kind of like this. You can just make it look bumpy like this. They're all like little wavy lines. Okay, now you use this. Oh yeah, our panda is almost finished. Yay! Now it's okay you shouldn't color all because all rocks are different, right? Yeah. Color them. Okay. 
Okay, so now okay. get one color you like. Get a color you like. Okay, I'm going to choose. I'm just going to choose black. So, why I said to choose a color, open it on the sixth side and write. And I'm going to write it in cursive, but I'm going to write it really curly, but you can just write it. Uh, but because you don't have enough space here, you can write it here, okay? Okay. You can just write panda, but I'm going to write it all curly and fancy. Panda. Well, you can just, uh, but you don't need to mess it up. You can just, you can just write panda in your own style. I'm just, I just really like this kind of style because I really like some fancy stuff. Yeah, and we have our very own character, panda. Did you have fun drawing our panda? Yes. Which part did you like the most? Mm, coloring the rocks. Why do you like it? Because I like this bumpy. Oh, yeah. Mine looks like a really smooth rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last, and we'll see you um, later. What animal will we draw next? Um, Maybe tiger. Oh, yeah, we're going to draw a character tiger. Okay, bye-bye. Let's see you. Bye.